I was very excited for her because I think she really deserves it. She puts a lot of effort and time into her students and her um, lessons, and she just she's so enthusiastic about what she does. I was um, very proud. She de definitely deserves it. She's a great teacher. She goes above and beyond for every all of her students. I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. I actually, when I was about five years old, um, I would carry around, my mom always said uh, that I would carry around a chalkboard and my dolls and I would set up a classroom and I even made worksheets so kind of de depending on what I was learning that week in school so I would have like pattern worksheets or ABCs and um, then when I had a brother that was old enough to be my student uh, so probably about when I was eight or nine, he would get to be my student, and again, again I would continue to make worksheets. So I've always known. It's just been interesting that I always thought I'd be an elementary teacher, and then something in college really clicked for me, and I knew that I would want to go into high school instead and really be able to build relationships instead of just teaching fundamentals. I feel like in high school we really get to do both of those things. One thing I try to focus on is I'm not focusing on my students' learning. I'm focusing on uh, building thinkers, and that's what the main focus of my room is. So I always try to make my examples relevant to them. So when I teach English and we're talking about writing and I'm teaching them to use you know, ethos, pathos, logos, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to give an example of them trying to ask their parents to go to a party, um, even though, you know, none of them party, of course. Um, but I want them to be able to feel like this is relevant to me. And so um, I also make them think by just asking them questions that stretch beyond information they can find in a textbook. Um, if they have a belief, I will... Uh, challenge them to tell me why they believe that not just well because I was told so or I was told that information um, so that's really the basis of my class she always offers help suggestions she always she does whatever she can to get the creative side of us going and active and she supports all of our works even if we don't think it's the best um, she's just very helpful in every aspect. Well, like every day she'll have a new creative lesson, so either we'll be working with, like today we worked with fortune cookies, or we'll get to talk with our classmates, or share our stories, or um, write about our memories. We got to look at a memory box of hers, so just, she's very visual and hands-on. If I had to give advice to future teachers or teachers that are just starting out, I would just say remember that you are here for the kids. There's going to be a lot of other stuff that's going to come your way, paperwork and uh, requests, and just remember that ultimately at the end of the day you became a teacher, uh, not for summer breaks, not for the amazing salary, but for those kids. And if you can keep that in mind, I think at the end of the day you will be rewarded in ways that you never thought possible say thank you for always understanding my ideas and encouraging me to be the best student and best person that I can be. I would tell her that I am so grateful that I had her as my teacher and whenever I hear someone that has her I'm just like you're gonna love her she's just the best.